Having a greenhouse in Alaska is a great way to extend your growing season, give you a place to grow starts if you have a way to heat it, or allow you to grow warm season crops like tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers with ease, as well as to eat other crops earlier than you otherwise would. Hi, I'm Heidi Rader here in the Alaska Garden. I'm an Associate Professor of Extension with the University of Alaska Fairbanks and I'm going to talk all about growing vegetables, flowers, and berries productively and sustainably in Alaska. <music> growing in a greenhouse requires more management than an outdoor garden. When it rains, it will not water your greenhouse plants. When it's hot, you'll need to make sure it doesn't get too hot. When it's humid, you'll need to ensure adequate ventilation. Pests can multiply quickly in a greenhouse and can be hard to eradicate once there, but those are all manageable problems. Before we get to those, first, what type of greenhouse will you build and where are you going to put it? Your location might be partly dictated by where you have room in your yard, but hopefully you can build your greenhouse in a place that optimizes light and heat from the sun too. It sure doesn't hurt if it's convenient to get to as well to make harvesting and management easier. There are pros and cons to an attached greenhouse like this one or a freestanding greenhouse. An attached greenhouse is going to be very convenient to your home. You'll have a shared wall with your house and you'll also have some extra heat from your house. But you can build a freestanding greenhouse bigger than you might be able to build an attached greenhouse and you also might get more sun with a freestanding greenhouse. Next, you'll want to think about the type of greenhouse structure you want to build. Check the links in the bottom of this video for design ideas, detailed plans, and to hear about some of the pros and cons for different designs. A couple of the key things to manage in a greenhouse are humidity and temperature. For those of us who like to leave town during our short Alaska summers, that can get tricky, but there are a couple of ways to automate these tasks. There are simple louvers or vent openers that rely on wax-filled cylinders or solar sensors to open and close vents at certain temperatures. This could be a huge stress and time saver for you. Something else that will help you care for the plants in your greenhouse easily is drip irrigation. Unlike an outdoor garden, when it rains, it unfortunately does not water the plants in your greenhouse. However, humidity in a greenhouse is higher than outside, which can help plants in a greenhouse compared with an outdoor garden, where a windy, sunny spring day will parch your garden to a crisp in hours. You may have more issues with pests and diseases in your greenhouse than you've had before. In general, keeping things clean in the greenhouse Scouting for pests early and keeping water off the plant foliage will help control pests. If you're not ready to build a greenhouse yet, you can save money and get by with various season extension techniques. 